So there's nothing really wrong with the model of drug discovery. I think the problem is that we just don't understand human biology and pharmacology well. And so the system is trying to solve a problem that's unsolvable scientifically. And so you could blame the model for not uh, understanding science better. But the fundamental problem is we don't understand science. So we need to make a model that facilitates scientific knowledge generation. I think that, that if we could solve that, drug discovery model, doesn't matter what model you'd have, they'd all work. I think that what we're aiming to do is generate pioneer medicines for the greatest unmet need. And frequently those are against in diseases that we don't fully understand. And so I think the concept is that we should share our knowledge about the disease process using whatever tools we have at hand. And then from that increased knowledge will come better ways to uh, identify potential drug targets and then will come better drugs. Again, it's back to the we need to know more about the diseases problem. I think that we as a society will have to um, take stock of what we agree to pay for drugs now. It, the, the market is certainly driven by the United States' willingness to pay anything. And I think that is going to change over time. So I, what I do believe has happened is that the cost of drugs will have to come down. It will just will have to come down. But right now, the high cost is sustaining this unsuccessful innovation or discovery process. If we make the discovery process cheaper uh, by sharing the risk, then the price of developing medicines will go down, and then the cost of consumers should go down. Not necessarily, though. Clearly the, the availability of the human genome is a game changer and what we need to do is to learn better how to use that information uh, to, to understand the disease processes better. And I think that if there's anything, it's sharing information about the human genome and all the you know, encoded proteins, that will enable us to most rapidly understand disease. So one of our major, uh, in fact our largest initiative, is to discover small molecule inhibitors of proteins that regulate the human epigenome so that these molecules will be made available uh, via a commercial distributor without restriction on use. And their availability is expected to rapidly increase the knowledge about that area of science, which in turn will increase our knowledge of biology, which in turn should make drug discovery more effective.